Hey guys, how you doing? Today, um, we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the BZ Control, BCF2000 from Behringer, for FL Studio. So let's get up straight in then. By now you should know about your drivers, and you should know how to get your drivers right from Behringer website. So, I'm not gonna go through all of that for you, so I hope you already have it. So, let's get up in there. Okay, let me stop this track. Well, I'll show you just how to set the meat up. And I'm sorry, it's kind of crazy out here today, but um, let me see if I can work that, get that closer for you. Okay, cool. Now, after you install your drivers, you should see something like this. Your BCF2000, you're going to enable it and set the put number to 1 or 2. And go down and set the input enable and set it to Mackie Control Universal. All right, after you've done that, you should have the BC Control working. That's all you need to do. Now I'll show you some. Here, issue, stop, play, scroll two tracks. If I hit this button, I'm gonna scroll two tracks. Forward, down. This button right here is gone. Rewind and forward. Look here. Rewind, forward. It's right here. Rewind, forward. Stop, play. And here, this button. Let me get you a better look at that. This one's gonna scroll through your tracks. So if I go here, through your mixer script actually. If I go here and I load the mixer for you. Get you a better look on that again. So by hitting these buttons here, you can actually be scrolling through your tracks. So you can go all the way all 64 tracks until you get to the beginning of the tracks so those are all my tracks I have there and here edit mode is where you control your mixer that controls your EQ if you look you see the 3 band EQ set right here right now hope you can see well this is the 3 band EQ I'm controlling them right now but just moving this button right here Three band EQs. The middle one control the mid range, and this the high, the high pass. Okay, now these three here you're looking at controls the lower part here. Let's see if I can get a clearer look on that for you. Better shot. Okay, so if I move these three faders here, you will see a move over there. Say so I turn that. Now can move. Control the bottom bottom ones. And so the top ones. These ones here. Control the top ones, the last three. So let's say I get back out to edit mode. It can go back to my mixer right there, as you're saying. EQ mode. EQ. Edit mode. EQ mode. Edit mode. EQ mode. And this here is a free state learn. With that I can map the FL, I can map FL to any button on the BC control. So you need it.